in the practice room. He won the toss and he put James Wilson into bat. A tactic that Michael Easy Van Gerwen uses sometimes. But yes, impressive in the first round. And Michael Van Gerwen, can he produce something special on the night where Paul Lim nearly produced one of the greatest moments in the history of this sport that we love so much? Here comes Van Gerwen. Anderson's done his job. And Van Gerwen looking for a place in the last 16 against the Welshman Gerwin Price. There is a good first start from Wilson. Unable to follow, though. Good cover on the 17. Still, Van Gerwen with some chance here of forming a break. Oh, definitely needed two big travels. He does that. He's going for early blood. He gave away the throw with the intent of a break. You don't do that so the guy gets a leg. He needs double 11. What a start from Van Gerwen. How about that for putting down the marker? The 1 4 2. And this night just continues to deliver. Well, he had a plan and he executed it. And the execution continues. You know, John, in, in individual sports, there are certain players where everybody just wants to be there. The bar's empty. The likes of Roger Federer, Andrew Flintoff uh, in his pomp, uh, Anthony Joshua now at boxing, and Michael Van Gerwen is in that category. When Michael Van Gerwen comes out to play, the sporting world sits up and takes note oh yeah and especially i think with such a special moment with paul him michael will feed off of that adrenaline that created there the the buzz he loves the buzz it drives him forward and you know when you're playing top level darts it's the best feeling in the world it's it's a drug you can't cop, copy anywhere else in any way it's just playing at the very best it's, it's elation inside. Well, Wilson may get a chance here. He was hoping to go one better, wasn't he, after that 1 4 2? Well, Gotta go the bull route, surely. Yeah, this would be a great way to break back, he's thinking. Okay, have some back. Oh, and Aiken's got all kinds of room to go in there. He does double 16. What a start to this game. Double 16 for Michael Van Gerwen to double his lead. James Wilson is giving it everything. Absolutely everything. Oh, he's so focused now. We see some good opening averages. They're just getting warmed up. Michael's got to be thinking about a nine. Got to be thinking about it. Yeah, there's the something special in the air tonight. That really, nearly so was. With Paul Lynn. Can there be with Michael Van Gerwen? Or even James Wilson. He looks like he's up for some action. You guys are playing this well. You, you wish the sets were best of seven legs. <laughs> They're going to leave the Sage too soon. No, no, don't go. We want more. Well, what about darting delights? Tonight at the Alexandra Palace has just been sporting rock and roll. Oh, Van Gerwen, the diabolical genius has left 170 to try and complete the set. Sweep. 
and to break Wilson's heart. He can't can he? He can't can he? That would have just been the perfect oh, end. The perfect oh, end. It's a joy to behold darts at this extreme level of excellence. Wilson with a chance now. One, two, three. Needs treble 18 for a ball. We know he can hit ball. Oh, he can't get the shot though. 55, 25, 25. Double eight. What a set. Fantastic set of darts from both players. They have it all. Big scores, big finishes. Nearly a 170. Nearly Michael Van Gerwen is serving up some rich darting entertainment. 45. James Wilson's just got to keep knocking on the door, hasn't he, John? Well, yeah, he's certainly uh, stood on stage and thrown some darts so far. 57. Just an absolutely superb performance from Van Gerwen to this point. Really, that whole give away the throw and then break with a 12 dart leg with a 1 4 2 out really set the tone. And we see 112. 0.7 average in the first set, winning it 3 0. Wilson, I think it, the second leg to, to break back is when he missed that 1 3 2 when he hit the two balls. And what a difference that made by missing that double 16. Uh, otherwise, maybe it's a different story. Because he then would have had to throw at being level and uh, with some advantage, really. Here he goes with his first oh, maximum. Turns up the heat on Michael Van Gerwen. So Van Gerwen responds. Oh, lucky, wasn't he? Saturday, day 10. The last day before the Christmas break. 59. Michael Van Gerwen, 41. Trouble 19. Double 12. 129. You kind of expect it now, don't you? And we're as disappointed as Van Gerwen when it doesn't yeah. go in. Well, he, he just looks in the mood and he looks like he's feeling like he can do anything. So that combination, you have to expect every shot to go in. He's more likely than not, it seems. Double six. And as easy as that. Well, there again in that leg, James Wilson hit a hit a 180, and just for a second or two, Michael Van Gerwen was behind that that eight ball, wasn't he? And the 135 just turned it around again. Then he just missed the 141. When Wilson creates chances, he has to take them. When Van Gerwen's averaging around 108, 109, 110, it's very difficult uh, to, to fashion any sort of clear chance to win legs. See, Michael wasn't paying enough attention to Paul Lim. That third dart should have been for the treble 19. He didn't have room left. I think I think Michael's done a few like that in any case already. Just because he can. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? He wasn't going to be able to leave a finish with anything else, so. I think he wanted to leave 216 so he could hit a 180 to leave the double, is what I really think. But he hit the 50 instead of the 25. Oh, only left 32. Fantastic. A 170, then a 169 to leave 32. And a possible 10 dart lag. Paul Lim hit a 10 darter, didn't he? Yeah, after he, did. he just missed the 9 dart. Well, yeah, not after, but not the same leg. Yeah, he, he did. On, on, on the way to winning a set against Gary Anderson. No mean feat either. 11 darts will do. Michael Van Gerwen. Put like he's Michael and throw first. Game on. Well, at the moment, 
he is just too good. And it's a joy to watch, isn't it? Just to watch a sportsman at the very top of their game producing what he is producing. Yeah, so far you'd have to say that there is no one that could beat him in this mood, playing this way. That would be a fair enough comment. Might not be right, but it sure is even, even that kind of a stage, standard. Even at this stage, he has, as you would expect, the world champ, the world number one, he has uh, put down a big marker to the rest, to the Andersons, the Wrights, the Taylors, the Barneys, the Gurneys, the Solich, who's well, still in. He's showing the exact kind of form that he had last year in winning and yeah. defeating all of those sorts of players. Uh, he's just a notch above. Well, here comes Wilson. But the other thing is, John, he just makes it so ridiculously easy. Yeah, and Wilson here, 161, and seemingly one of the better opportunities he'll have, if any. You've got to try and find a way somehow. Take a breath and get it going. Just not happening. Likely that's it. That's two. Well, there we have it. A 13th data to follow an 11 data. And Michael Van Gerwen is averaging my on 130. So exactly the same average of 112.73. Both sets and in the match. 40 darts to win the first set, 40 darts to win the second set. That is going to be some standard to try and maintain. It's also going to be some standard to try and beat. And that. Yes, definitely Wilson uh, taking it just uh, fine. He's certainly trying his heart out. He, he's looked very good himself, but to no avail against that standard. Six out of nine on the doubles as well. The only dart to the double that Wilson has had was for a, a 1-3-2 oh, ball, ball at double 16. Yeah, and that might have made a significant difference in his chances because it would have been for a break as well. Second rank of the opening set after Van Gerwen had taken out 142. It was an excellent attempt at an answer to that. But it didn't go in. 139. Ruthless. Yeah. Crafts a finish. And certainly able to do it. Wilson, though, has to close his eyes to that. He's got six darts for 220. And still favored. 100. Michael Garland on 64. Why not? Why not? Oh, glorious, glorious Van Gerwen. What a performance this is. Well, sometimes words just don't come close to describing how good he is. Well, he hit the 139 to set up the 164. So he, he had it in mind that he was going to finish it prior to even leaving it. Sure, Gerwin Price is watching on. The last 16 opponent did well. Price became the first man through to the last 16 this afternoon. With a convincing win over Ian White. Well, he better bring another set of darts and try and use six up there because the way Michael's playing, it's going to be tough for anybody to even get close. Yeah, he has the right attitude. He was saying on social media after, if you want to be the best, you've got to try and beat the best. And fair play to him. But Van Gerwen here, look at those numbers. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. He's left 170, which he just barely missed in the first set. Yeah, I, I just find it hard to hold my darts under that kind of duress as well. He's probably as engrossed as we are watching Michael throw now because it, it really is an incredible performance. 
got to be. Oh, that was twice he's missed the 170. Yeah, he's, he's been a bit uh, shabby on those. Okay, that's a joke, okay? I agree That's though. a joke. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Anybody that's the only there. thing you can actually find to criticise him on. He's missed the 170 yeah, twice. It's crazy. 58, Michael Carr, 25. Double eight, then. Double four. The result is the same, and it's now eight consecutive legs for Michael Van Gerwen as he moves relentlessly on to a place in the last 16 and another step closer to defending his world championship crown. But Wilson is actually outscoring Van Gerwen on the 180s. <laughs> in a desert of opportunity. Well, at the moment, it's a, a darting desert of desolation for, for James Wilson. Oh, there's, there's billions of grains of sand and no water. No hope. How can you have hope against this? 59. Well, if you are if you are going to be good enough to get yourself up to world number 32 before the World Championship, this is what happens to you in the yeah. second round. Yes, yeah, that's a nice fine reward, is it not? 134. Well, Gerwin, I'm absolutely certain, is looking at winning 12 legs without reply. And he Relentless. gambled that third dart and went for the 20s, even though if he'd missed this treble, he wouldn't have left the finish. And not because he couldn't take out that other finish, the big one, if he left it, but just because he's that confident right now. He can do what he wants. Treble 18. Ah, so a chance here for Wilson to perhaps avoid the whitewash a shake of the head he, he does want to win 12 million legs I'm sure John trouble 19 for double six now the bull 59 well the last 12 nil in legs I remember was Phil Taylor against Daryl Gurney to run out a fantastic match it's double four Fourteen dart leg, one of his longer ones. One hundred and forty. Gutsy from Wilson. He's determined to get a leg. And if he does, he can think about a set maybe. But the time is gone, really. This is it. 56. One of his worst visits. Some opportunity puts in a max right back at you. Well, the last time Wilson hit a 180, Van Gerwen did the same. Oh, this is tungsten pain being dished out by Michael Van Gerwen. A shot at the bull again. 96. Oh, just can't catch a break. He's really deserved. To get a leg, you feel. Game show on the first leg. Michael Van Gerwen. Uh, leg is he's he's had two darts first. at the ball, one Three at double one. 16. That's 10 nil in legs. A, a give or take playing time around about 20 minutes to win 100. 10 consecutive legs. He just keeps setting the standard. Yeah, but I agree with you. The, the, the way that he's played so far, 
I mean, he was given a, a he was given a, a tough go, wasn't he, by Christian Kess, to be fair, in the first round. But the way that he's up the game here, 16. he is basically saying to everybody else left in the field, you're going to have to play the game of your life to beat me. I think, yeah, well, he's got that magical next level, the, the 110 plus level, and he's, he's sat there all match. And that, that 110 threshold, that's the next thing we talk about. Can someone play there consistently? Match after match, Michael looks like he can. Well, the highest 60. average in the history of the World Championship in this, the second round, 109.23 set, of course, by Michael Van Gerwen. At the moment, he's on course to beat that 110 and a nearly 110 and a half. Well, I, he's got to know he's close, and he's the sort he'd just love to get that 110 or more. He yeah. knows the significance. 140, James Ingram, 150. Well, James Wilson's Michael going home for Christmas, but he's witnessed an imperious performance from the best player. 54. Well, certainly that I've seen. But that Gerwin, a rare mistake. Yeah, well, Wilson, he's got stuff, but he's no turkey. He's played brilliantly, and he doesn't deserve this. Well, that's three darts is hand up the ball. Ooh. Well, what were you thinking, Stuart? Ooh, come on. Come on. You didn't think he was going to miss that, did you? <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Yeah, the Van Gogh in 109.23 is in this format, extended format, the actual highest. In the second round was Phil Taylor against Shane Burgess back in 2002 of just over 111, but that was the last 16. It wasn't the last 32 where we are now, so you take your money. And Gerwin throwing for a clean sweep. He's won 11 consecutive legs. It's been astonishing. Yeah, once again, James Wilson has thrown some magnificent darts without taking a leg. And he's only missed four darts for double, and most of those were bulls. Chance, 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 chance for James Wilson to avoid the whitewash. 57. Here he goes. Oh. We dare to doubt him, John. Yeah, and Wilson, maybe he'll get one last chance at a bowl to take a leg. That's what he's hoping for. He needs treble 18 to get that opportunity. No. That's probably it. 58, Michael Brown, 28. Oh, absolutely incredible. It's a wonderful winterland white watch for Michael Van Gerwen. 108.65, the average, not quite rewriting the record books. But certainly laying down a big marker to the rest.